it is important for me to be very visible about my intersectional identities because everything about me is political. Every part of my identity is being attacked. What's taking us so long to achieve can be easily taken away by a Supreme Court decision, by an act of legislation. It's incredible to think that we're stepping back, you know, so many years of progress here in the U.S. 25% of transgender non-binary people in America are not able to vote just because their name on their voter ID doesn't match the voter registration form. We are kind of looking more towards action. Anyone can offer their words and their consolation, and while that's great, kind of putting the pressure on and saying, what are you gonna do about it? It's so important to be visible because when I was growing up, I didn't have any visibility, especially within the Black and Caribbean community. In the future, I wanna be a clinical psychologist to help people in my community. I co-founded a chapter of the Kentucky Young LGBTQ Democrats. It was the first ever LGBTQ caucus. My plan is to create films that depict authentic black and queer stories. By doing this, I hope to challenge this current status quo and advocate for marginalized groups. I'm a fellow of OutVote. It's an organization that works to promote voting for people who are queer and um, transgender and non-binary. The big thing that I've pushed in my advocacy work is mental health, which is very common for queer people to experience mental health struggles. I spoke to legislative congressional staff advocating for increased mental health services. Some days it's hard, but it's important to know that you have community that you can lean back on, knowing that it's a collective effort and it takes all of us in order to keep each other safe. We as a queer community, we have to find allies in spaces of power. And when our rights are on the line, finding what best way of fighting back.